high school that actually kind of had a, a, a really kind of art specific, like a pretty high caliber arts program for a high school. Um, and that was actually, in hindsight, like a really great thing. Um, I had a couple really cool teachers in high school actually that, um, you know, I would say even at this point kind of had like a pretty big impact on me because you know, it's like when you're younger and you are you have a certain, uh, I guess, a certain way you're thinking about things or you have a certain impression in your head of like, this is what art is and this is what art isn't. And I just had teachers that basically, um, or I had a teacher rather, that was just basically art can be anything. And the first day of class, she took a pair of underwear and like stapled them inside of her sketchbook saying like yeah this is you can do this is art like and that was like you know at the time it was like pretty powerful to like kind of be in that kind of an environment at a young age where it's not being totally forced down your throat that you have to like draw this specific way or paint this specific way or like um like literally just you could do whatever you wanted There, there wasn't that much of a precedent, you know, in 1997, 98, like, there was a lot of street art stuff going on still at that time, but, like, in terms of, like, now, it's almost like this whole, like, street art graffiti thing is, like, mainstream, um, and so, I guess what I was doing at the time, the, I guess my style, or whatever you want to call it, wasn't really, they weren't driving with it, they weren't accepting it, really, and, and uh, so it was kind of a struggle going through school there. Uh, and uh, you know, but right, like around like, I was doing tons of like graffiti and street stuff as soon as I moved to San Francisco. And you know, I started getting more into wanting to kind of make work that was a little bit more socially responsible, I suppose, than like graffiti. In what, um, in, in what sense? What do you mean? I guess like just, something more than just running around writing my name on everything like something that maybe could have some kind of more of a social impact more of a message coming out to san francisco immediately you're like you're kind of like living in this liberal bubble but you also coming from the midwest which is a fairly blue collar conservative not super conservative it's kind of middle ground but it's definitely more on the conservative side like you know you're you're not like you're not as a, especially as like a younger person you're not seeing like the potential for like i don't know a lot of things i i suppose and like coming out here you know it's like in san francisco you're re immediately kind of exposed to like liberal politics and you're seeing how like things can actually work and there can be like so much more and then maybe like stupid minuscule crimes like graffiti skateboarding having a, a a bag of marijuana like it's it's not like a big deal out here like whereas in the midwest like you get caught with you know a marker in your pocket and they're trying to give you 30 days in jail or like you get caught with a like a joint in your pocket and they're trying to put you away for 30 days so you know there's just a lot more like freedom to like coming out here which is like you know it it lets things like um lets things thrive a lot more I think you know I grew up running from the police for skateboarding I mean that's that's absolutely insane when I think about it now like there wasn't really a plan you know what I mean there was just like doing doing what I kind of want doing what I wanted to do and, and opportunities arising and sort of just either taking them or not taking them and trying to do big things with them. Um, I guess I would say too that like um, for me like after doing the murals and all this stuff for so many years like you know you start to feel like I can do this pretty well at this point and um, and so there was sort, sort of this little bit of like wanting to have other possibilities you know just 
in terms of what whatever you were making i mean you are sort of limited in a lot of respects when you're painting a mural like to painting on a wall something permanent like you know semi-permanent actually and two-dimensional and whatnot and just you know at that point i was starting to have a lot more aspirations to make work that was uh you know ephemeral maybe sculptural things that you know were fragile or you know they're just a you know aesthetically maybe a little different but kind of being informed by you know the streets i guess in some level but then i think the other imp most important part about like the difference between like doing like stuff in the you know public art and i'm not talking about like unsanctioned i'm more referring to like sanctioned public art is there really is like a responsible way i guess i would say to do it and you know that being said like you know you're going into somebody's community and you're painting this giant image and so for me i've always i always attempted to somewhat engage that environment or that community that i was painting these murals in on some level like try to you know figure out what's going on in that community what's important in that community what you know who who lives there like who has to look at this every day and so despite the fact that i would still be painting very personal imagery on the wall i would say that like i wasn't really in a lot of ways attempting to paint like a gigantic monument to myself or whatever which it can feel like that with some of the work that goes up like and so that being said as well i would be you know trying to address different political issues or social issues that were happening in that in that particular community you know in the mission a lot of times i'd be in, um, addressing like the gentrification going on there uh, you know different laws that were being passed that were making the gentrification easier to happen um, different social dynamics of like rich and poor things like that um, maybe addressing certain individuals who were like a, a huge asset to that community who had worked in that community and done great things um, you know things like that like just figuring out like local things very local things that a you know applied to that particular location and you know that being said as well the way that you're addressing like something like pol like any kind of political issue in a public art piece you know you're kind of not i at least for me i i always believe that addressing like po political issues in a more like subtle way is a lot more effective than punching people in the face Keeps it, keeps it interesting.